Hey, hey, good people. I hope all is well. Arthur Morris here. In this video, we're going to look at applying the quadratic formula, uh, but getting a decimal answer. So the process is still the same. However, if you look at this problem, we have 2x squared equals negative 7x plus 6. Uh, you want all of your terms on one side of the equal sign and the, that expression set equal to 0. So the first thing that I would want to do, or the first thing I need to do, is to add the 7x and subtract the 6 to move it to the left hand side of the equal sign where I have positive 2x squared. And then that cancels, that cancels, so that makes it equal to 0. So now I can identify my a, b, and c. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to negative 6. And then from there we do the same thing. We substitute. So x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 6, all over 2 times uh, a. All right, so now let's start to simplify. So we have negative seven uh, plus or minus 49. Again, I have two negatives here, so that makes a positive 48, four negative four times two times negative six, all over four. Forty-nine plus forty-eight, ninety-seven. Okay. So let's separate these. So now, after you separated on this problem, my instructions were to provide the answers uh, in decimal form rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so now this is where I would uh, place this information in my calculator and then I would get a decimal answer and the decimal answer that I came out with the decimal answers that I came out with were zero about 0 0.712 and negative 4.212. So I want to round to the nearest hundredth. That's why I went out three places. So here in this first one, this 2 tells me to leave the 1 the same, so about 0 0.71. In the second one, this 2 in the thousandths place tells me to leave the 1 the same that's in the hundredths place. So about negative 4.21. Alrighty, and that's it for that problem, and that's it for this video. So the only difference here is that now you need to use your calculator to get a decimal answer, and then make sure you round it to the correct stated place. Okay, hope you found that video to be helpful. All right, thank you.